everybody. Since you like these live things so much, we're gonna go ahead and do our Bloody Mary mix live here today. You may notice I'm still in the alternate apron and I'm gonna be in this for the next few videos just because my other one needs clean. <laughs> as always, I'm gonna try to make this as, <laughs> as uh, family friendly as possible. So I got my blender here. Now this is a high powered blender. Um, if you don't have a high powered blender, don't worry about it. This works perfectly fine with that. This is a cup of leftover cherry tomatoes. These are from my uh, plant in the house. And these are some mini San Marzanos that I use for sauce. So these guys are gonna go in there. And now I have some leftover beef steak tomato. It's gonna go in there. And now we're gonna put in the stuff that everybody kind of gets weirded out with with Bloody Marys. Uh, this is hot sauce. You want a little spice, but not too much. So Valentina is good for that. This is Mexican hot sauce but it does have a um, sort of more smoky flavor. If you don't like that, just go with your basic bog standard crystal Louisiana hot sauce. It's, pretty, it's bright, you know, vinegary and spicy, but it doesn't overwhelm you, all right? So next thing we gotta do is put in our seasonings. So I've got the juice of two of these guys in here, two limes, all right, three lemons. I know that's a lot of acid, but just bear with me. Got some pepper, All right. just, a, just a few turns, you don't want too much. Some sea salt, about a teaspoon each. Not, not a lot, again, not a lot here. You don't want to overwhelm it. Some of my dust mix, which will take care of the garlic and the onion and everything else you want in this, okay? And now we're gonna add this guy. This is Worcestershire sauce, um, and we're in the UK, Worcester sauce. All right, so this here, um, this is Lee and Perrin's. Do not use other Worcestershire sauce. This is real stuff. So we're going to put in well, about a tablespoon, okay? Now what we're going to do, you notice I've got some horseradish here. If you like a lot of horseradish, by all means put it in now, but if you like it just a little more um, mild, okay? We're going to go ahead and put it in after we blend this. And that's just a teaspoon of hot sauce in there. Okay? Next, we'll lock our blender. Okay? Turn it on, and we're going to pulse this first. One, two, three. Get it nice and blacked up. Now, what we're going to do is put this on high and blend it for a full 75 seconds to a minute and a half. So, like, and you're gonna see it get frothy, and I'll be speeding this up as we go, but here we go. You can see that there, the color starting to change. Once it gets dark is when we're going to stop this. Okay, so you see this here, you see how the colors changed? When you first blend tomatoes, and you usually use it in a food processor or a blender like this, it kind of gets frothy and, and white, right? But we wanted that deep red color, and now by blending it for that full minute, minute and a half, we've got that deep red color, okay? So now what we need to do is add uh, an ingredient that not pretty much nobody puts inside Bloody Mary mix except me. <laughs> this is vodka. Now, ordinarily, you would add this for your, to your drink at the end, but if I put half an ounce of vodka in this, just a little bit, just that much, okay? Just half an ounce. 
it will keep this not only shelf stable, I keep longer in the fridge, but you also don't have to use as much liquor when you're making it, which makes you, which you, means you can stretch it out longer. All right, now horseradish, I like a lot, so we're gonna put that in there. That is one tablespoon of prepared horseradish. Don't use fresh in there, it's too, it's too much. Prepared horseradish is just mild enough to give you um, the flavor you're looking for. So again, we're gonna put this back on, blend this for another 30 seconds, and then we're done. Okay, now that we're done, pop this guy off, okay? And what I'm gonna do is taste this while it's in here so I can get an idea of where we need to go, need to add any more seasoning. Out a spoon and see where we're at. Mm, no, perfect. Okay. Now, some people in this point would add some sugar. I don't do that. It's not necessary. The tomatoes are more than sweet enough to handle their own. So, this Bloody Mary mix is fresh. It'll keep for about two weeks in your fridge, so don't worry about it. There's no preservative in it other than, uh, other than the vodka. And you can pour this over ice, put some lime in it, olives, whatever you want to do. Thank you so much for tuning in and enjoy this cocktail.